Hello there everybody. This is K Bar user. I got a little story for you. Just bear with me. My son crushed his back, he has scoliosis. So he had to go in for emergency surgery on Sunday. Excuse me. So it's been a pretty stressful week for me. They're still not sure he's going to be able to walk or feel his feet or anything, so it's been a stressful week. So my wife says to me, get out of the house for a while. I say, okay, I'm leaving. So now I got a new pack I just got in the mail. It's an old Boy Scout pack. I waxed it up. It's waterproof. Beautiful pack. I believe it's what they call a yucca pack. Yucca pack. Anyway, so, all right, checked all the webbing and everything. Everything was secured. So pack the pack up. Got a brand new tarp sitting here on the table. Hey, I'm ready to roll. Got a tarp, got my bedding. I'm ready to go. <laughs> well, I go out in the woods. <clears throat> About 200 yards out, I hear a pop. And my pack just kind of flies to one side. Strap broke. So, all right, well, we'll just carry this like this and we'll get through tonight. I'll fix it when I get home. So I get to the campsite, got all my wood in and everything. Pull out the new tarp, brand new out of the package. Well, I rigged the tarp up first in a, uh, basically like an A-frame TP. And I had it attached to a, a bent over branch above the, the very point of the tarp. So it wasn't really stretched tight. It was just stretched. It was beautiful. I had a floor, I had, you know, it, it was nice. So yeah, this tarp stuff is really nice. It's got a nice reflective silver inner lining. I don't know if you can see that or not. <coughs> but it's got a nice reflective silver inner lining. <coughs> Excuse me. That I figured would, you know, it'd go great for tonight to keep the heat on me and whatnot. It is getting chilly now. Last night it was down to like 45, so that's chilly. Anyhow, as I'm sitting there getting my other gear ready to go, I hear, and I'm watching my tarp float down through the air like a parachute. All the grommets, well not all the grommets, but three of the grommets pulled out of the tarp. When it did that, it gave it enough release of tension to where it pulled the, the front stake out. It, it parachuted itself. So when it hit the ground, I figured, okay, that's it. So I put it up in a plow point configuration. Now I realize I don't have any stakes with me, I still have to use the wood. So I'm out you know, cutting wood stakes. So I put it up in the plow point position, put a toggle on the back, pulled it out. Lots of room. I don't really like the plow point, but it'll work for tonight. It was a high plow point because it was a clear night. It wasn't going to rain. Yeah, maybe a half hour after setting up the tarp, I'm going through everything and you know, the, the whole thing of going through my pack, getting ready for dinner and everything. <sighs> I hear punk. This tarp is so cheap, so thin, the toggles wouldn't hold the tension and pulled through the tarp. Ripped the tarp. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. Ripped through the tarp. There's another hole here somewhere too where the toggle ripped out of it. So at that point in time, I, mean, I was just about ready to throw in the gun. I had it. With the stress and everything, I wasn't you know, up to playing with this. So I, I rolled up in the tarp, basically. Got ready to go to bed. I could still reach the fire, everything's good and whatnot. 
and I went home. I just got sick of it, packed everything up, drug everything home. So the thing I'm trying to get is when you get new gear and like this is new gear. This is brand new out of the pack. The other one I was kind of leery about because it's 50 year old canvas but when you get new gear pack it up over pack it. Stand on it. Yank on the straps. Tarps, take them out of the package and see what kind of quality they are. I'm going back to my tent because at least this way here I know. Yeah, you know, it's a pup tent. I got a dome tent also. It weighs like two and a half pounds and I don't have to worry about it. So, when you get new gear, test it out. Take it out in the woods before you even decide to go on a camping trip. Because believe me, it's no fun walking through bear infested woods at, uh, you know, 11 o'clock at night. One thing I did take with me though, I got this from Pooping Android. They took the K-Bar Shorty. And all in all, it held the same edge my big K-Bar did. Now my other K-Bar is the full size one and I've had it since 1981. I think the quality of the knives have gone down. All in all it held a good edge, it held up to what I needed it to do. It was a great little knife. It sharpened 10 stakes, it did everything. I can't get this knife to a razor's edge like I can all my other knives and I don't know why. Maybe it's the angle of the grinder, whatever, I don't know. But I'll, I'll keep working on it, I'll get it. And this is a little Strider knife. This is my backup knife. It's not even out of the, the packaging yet, so let's unbox this. It's a nice little Strider knife. It's a cord wrapped handle. It's a nice size for doing small chores. And it is razor sharp right out of the package. I don't know if you can see it there or not, it says Strider. It's got about a, uh, oh, I'd say a three and a quarter inch blade. Now, this isn't my main knife, this is not something I'd run around the woods with. This is a backup knife, or a lot of times I'll carry a knife on my boot. Just in case, you know, my main knife that I have with me goes dull. I always have a good fixed blade somewhere on me as a backup. It does have a beautiful spine right here for striking a fire steel, which I don't have with me, but yeah, it'd make a nice little woods knife. And I've never taken it out of the package, I've never used it. As you can see, I just, you know, here's the plastic tip they come with, and there's the plastic it come out of. This just sits in my pack. But I think from now on it's going to go on my boot. It's got uh, the sheath that came in is a Strider sheath. It's got the detachable belt loop so you can take it on and off without having to take your belt off. It's got tie out points all over it. It does have a pouch, there's nothing in it, but it does have a pouch to put a sharpening stone and whatnot. On the back it's got a couple different attachment points. You slide your belt through there, tie that to a molly, whatever. So anyway, it's the K-Bar Shorty. It does come with a leather and a Kydex sheath. I prefer the leather, of course. Um, Kydex I've just always had problems with. I put the knife in, it comes out, it's not as sharp as when I put it in. I don't know if it's just me or the cases or what. It could be cheap Kydex cases, I don't know, but it just always seemed that way to me. So, check your gear before you take it out. And, um, <laughs> don't have a night like I had last night, believe me. If you're stressed out in the woods and everything's going wrong, it does not make for a good night. I'll tell you how bad it even got. On the way home, a strap to my canteen broke. 
So I'm walking through the woods, I hear a thunk, I turn around with the flashlight, there's my canteen laying in the woods. So this is K-Bar user on a very stressful day with a very stressful night. And uh, I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your patience. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely see you on the next video.